Hey, good morning. Um, super tired. Obviously, I'm not coming back from the gym. Um, because we didn't even go to bed that late. But, you know, you know how it is when you have an event. You have people over, which was really nice. We got to celebrate my mom's birthday. And then, you know, the event that I had yesterday was a little bit smaller than I like. Because I love gatherings i love parties and anytime i have a gathering i take advantage and invite people who are acquaintances neighbors who i don't um who like you know you talk but you don't really know them um because i think that's opportunities to connect i think that's opportunities to love on somebody um but not a lot of people showed up so it really was just my family because a lot of people had other plans. I get it. It's Mother's Day. It's really just my family. And then uh, friends of mine and their kids. Who their kids are just a month apart from each of my children. So it's so fun to hang with them. But it was a blessing. It was a nice time. We did an outside barbecue. It rained a bit. My husband had to cook in the rain. But then it cleared up. Excuse me. And then we got to hang outside. Which was the original plan. But anyway, oh my gosh, sorry. Um, as you know, when you hang out, this is why when you have goals, you try not to do the things you shouldn't because the things you shouldn't then cause you to mess up your goals the next day. So, for example, <clears throat> hanging out late, <coughs> what happens? Or doing you know, events or whatever. You're not going to wake up on time the next day. You're going to be tired. You're not going to go to the gym. So, obviously, Mother's Day, celebrating my mom's birthday, that is the rare, that is, and the special event you should do. But, you know, that whole idea where you're trying to have fun for the moment, party now, you know, or escapism, which I get it. Sometimes you just want a bottle of wine and just chill. But a lot of times you have to pay for it the next day. So... You know, I'm taking this moment to say, if you have goals, really consider what you're going to be doing the night before, especially if you have to wake up early, go to the gym, um, even work on your um, <clears throat> resume and looking for other jobs early in the morning before your job, you know, think of, have those things considered and treat them like work, treat them like, like you're going to get fired if you don't show up you know <laughs> but no they have to be as important as work because if not you're not gonna do it and then another thought is also the idea of a weeknight right a weeknight you you're tired let's say it's wednesday or thursday some of the worst days you're tired frustrated what do you want to do you want to go out to eat at a restaurant why escapism everybody loves it and it's an experience you go to a restaurant what's happening you're blowing your budget and you're going to stay out later than you would have if you would have gone straight home, had whatever it is that you eat every day, you know, at night. And and uh, and your routine, your rhythm. Sorry. Your rhythm, you know. You're getting out of sync. So, as a person who is in her bed right now making a video versus walking back from the gym full of energy already had a coffee you know what i'm saying i'm having it now i'm trying to charge up so i could quickly make breakfast and go get the kids out of the room as a person saying that is guard your rhythm <laughs> it's like protecting your habits guard your rhythm there are times and places for events and you're supposed to do them and you're supposed to enjoy them and not feel bad that was my video yesterday rest day we need them okay but guard your rhythm. Don't let frustration make you make choices that are going to blow your budget, blow your diet, blow your goals. Because then you wake up the next day and I'm not at the gym. It's almost like when you're going to have a party on a Sunday, not a Saturday. You need to expect that Monday's not going to wake up normal. You're not going to wake up normal. You're not going to be in rhythm. So you need to think, well, what do I need to do? What you probably need to do is jump in the shower and take a cold shower. So apparently, total side note, but through this lady named Mel Robbins, who has some interesting ideas, um, she 
explains that hitting the snooze button is like horrible for you because you apparently go through three to four sleep cycles through the night of deep sleep and then the last two hours are you like you're just like um on light sleep but like ready getting ready to wake up but you're not in any of those sleep cycles and when you wake up from a snooze and you press the snooze button i mean when you wake up for the alarm and you press the snooze button you actually go back into a deep sleep cycle and it costs you three to four or five hours of fully waking up in the morning to get your mental state working at the speed it would normally work so if you're out of rhythm you've snoozed you gotta get up go to the shower and jump in cold water i know sounds crazy but if it's almost like saying what are the things i need to do that if i had a disruption in my life to get back on the horse like normal and go after my goals well one of those things is how do you get back to normal after a disrupted night and morning cold shower baby anyway just giving you a tip but most of all what this talk is about is guarding your rhythm guarding your rhythm of life avoiding events you can't avoid that aren't important or celebratory for you or somebody important to you of course you should celebrate certain things because we don't live to work or live to to grind only we deserve rewards when we finish grinds when we hit goals when it's our birthday we need rest you grind hard so you can rest hard <laughs> but you know just throwing that out there and i gotta tell you just an update on myself and to be completely honest it's been incredibly hard to keep rhythm i've you know haven't been able to go to the gym every single day like i had just two weeks ago you know i go in two three times a week and it's to be five so i'm missing some body parts per week i'm missing some exercise i'm missing some cardio and it's because it's so many events my sister's birthday mother's day my mom's birthday i had family over in town that i hosted and now this weekend coming up is my birthday so 100 percent not making it to my weight loss goal which i had changed it from 10 to 5 pounds because 10 was actually not realistic i don't know if i'll make it to five i'll have to keep it tight this week i mean i haven't gained so i'm very happy about that as i kept saying one of the great changes that have occurred i haven't like gone off the reservation with dieting which is something i do i haven't done that but i'm definitely not doing good and it's because it's hard life the leisure life and parties don't coincide with goals and winning they don't (laughs) they just don't because it's not like there's diet food at parties there's gonna be cake and that chilling life to then get up for activity they don't coincide and it's funny i remember my husband a couple years ago we always used to go to this um like you know community group bible study and it was a great time connecting with people and so forth but it was like a disruption in the middle of the week and mind you i'm all about these kind of groups but maybe finding one that works for you versus in your lifestyle so this was one that met on wednesday nights and it would go from like six 30 would have dinner and the dinner was never diet friendly like even the salad would have sugar and it's not because they weren't people who cared about diet it's just because the norm to feed people in this nation or you just go out and you think it's healthy it's called the halo effect for like salads you go out and get these salad bags and with dressing and the dressing is sugar they taste amazing they'll have like right cranberries in it whatever but the point is it has a halo effect but it's not healthy and then it'll be like pasta and meat sauce all like normal diet things but not if you're trying to lose weight not if you have goals so it started at 6 30 we would eat dinner then we would have the group and then it wouldn't end to like 9 30 i don't know maybe 10 but the point is we'd get home late You know, all these things, and it would disrupt the goals, disrupt the week. Something That's something that you shouldn't do unless it's like a Saturday. Again, you can have group. Maybe it should look different. Maybe no dinner. Maybe it's literally 6.30 to 7.30, 
or eight, you're having group, everybody go home. Um, or one that's done over breakfast in the morning. Very different. You're in like a restaurant, you order a healthy breakfast, no bread, whatever your goals are. But just different, and you have like a cutoff time and you have to go to work and you're not going to bed late. So if it was breakfast in the morning, you'd be skipping the gym. So you'd plan that extra day to do on the weekend, you know. But anyway, my husband made a comment that, you know, it was disruptive. It wasn't it wasn't working for us and our goals. And I remember being at the time a little bit like, but it's important. It's something we should do. It's connecting with people. Agree with all that. But the reality is hindsight and the cost. The cost, there was a cost to me and my husband and our goals. And it's not just about fitness and looking good, but it's literally about performing at your peak and the effect that the rhythm, the cutoff of the rhythm had at the performance for your fitness, for how you feel feel for your diet and then that affects how you perform in your activities in your goals in your work anyway but you know you learn you grow you change so protect your rhythm don't do things that throw it off even if they seem good for you (laughs) halo effect and mind you you need, you need to be fed spiritually, but you could just figure out a time or a meeting or make one that works for your lifestyle. <clears throat> like, for example, I made one that's every first Saturday of the month, a ladies meeting, and it's a blessing. I made it. Works for me. And it's also an age group around my age, so everybody has similar obstacles or goals or desires that we can um, go after together. That was something I wanted. It wasn't a group with all kind of different people, you know. So that was something specific that I wanted um, to connect and to work through something together. So whatever. That's all extra. My whole point and purpose is you can party. There's times to celebrate. But be careful um, doing things you know is going to have a cost the next day, like escapism, going to a restaurant, hanging out late, having a drink, even one drink can affect your sleep, how you wake up. And if you snooze the bunch, jump in a cold shower. But whatever, whatever, whatever it is, keep your rhythm. Guard it. Super important. I've had the last three weeks with events and stuff, and it's been so hard. I'm like on it. I'm making videos about this stuff, people. I have to talk about it. I have to be accountable to you. And and it's been hard to keep the rhythm because you have disruptors. They are rhythm disruptors and it's over and over and over and over again. And and, and then one moment to the next, you realize you have no more rhythm. And then what happens? You're down the wrong road again. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. Anyway, rant. Several topics covered, but I wanted to tell you that, you know... Honestly, how I'm not doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, but the why and the things that you need to do to put in place. And like, I have some more physical goals and I can't wait till after my birthday. Mind you, I'm, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I can't wait till after my birthday. If I have probably two more rounds of the 21 day that I did, I changed my body in 21 days, people. Like, you don't even know, like fitting jeans. I hadn't fit in three years if i have two more rounds of the 21 days i'm probably gonna be where i want to be physically um but yeah so we'll talk about that as it goes have a great monday get in a cold shower do your thing bye